Hello there, welcome to the real you. This is Susanna. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos and for subscribing to my channel and for liking my videos and sharing them for those who might be interested. So this video would be on how to bake through a cyclical process. Now most of the people that I work with in my coaching sessions feel trapped in certain aspects of their lives which seem to be cyclical. They experience or they seem to experience the same type of scenario over and over again, such as in, I've always been treated this way, I never got what I wanted, uh, they always treat me like this, I don't matter, I always end up like this, I always had to be the nice one, etc., etc. So, how to break through a cycle like this one? Now, what I want you to understand is that you wanting to break through this pattern or cycle is to a certain extent, not completely, but to a certain extent, a part of the same pattern. Basically, what you will do when you feel trapped, your reactions, your decisions, your actions, unless they are conscious, will only keep you in the same cycle, in the same trap. The very emotion that you experience now, that frustration, if you pursue it in, in an impulsive way, it will only keep the cycle going. On the other hand, we cannot stop having this need to stop the cycle because it's only natural and normal that we want to end something which gives us pain and suffering. It is just that we have to use that desire wisely. Now, that cycle, let's be very clear about that, that cycle might or might not change. We all know that there are things that can be changed and there are things which can't be changed in life. Now, what definitely you can change is how it affects you because the pattern itself is not the problem. What actually bothers you and what also makes you entitled to want to come out of it is this bad feeling that you are experiencing inside yourself. It is that bad feeling, that emotional reaction that are giving you the feeling of being trapped. Now, many people say that we should accept it, love it, etc. Now, we can't love a lie. We can't love anything that is not true because you cannot get yourself to love it anyway. You know, all that thing would love your patterns, love your weaknesses, love yourself for who you are, uh, love and accept yourself. It is not love that is required here. Let's be very clear about that. I'm not saying that love is not important. Love is the essence of who we are. But in this particular thing, with a cycle, love is not required. Having clarity and discernment and real choice is much of a better approach to undesirable cycles and patterns. So this cycle of yours, this pattern, you don't have to love it, you don't have to hate it, neither. You just have to take a little bit of distance from it that will give you more clarity on what action or choice you can have to come out of it or at least to loosen it up. So when you find yourself in the same situation over and over again, and you find yourself repeating the same cycle over and over again, and you find it hard and impossible and frustrating to come out of it, don't try to love it. The only thing that you really need to come out of this cycle is to conscious action and conscious choice. Patterns are unconscious and lead to unconscious reactions. The way out is not anger, is not frustration, is not love. The way out is awareness and consciousness. And rather than responding the way you have always responded, you can now choose something else. Respond in a different way, react differently. Ask yourself, how else can I see this? You don't like the way you responded so far? Fine. How would you like to respond instead? You don't like how you feel? about the whole thing? Very well. Then how would you like to feel instead? You don't like to feel trapped and like a prisoner in this situation? That's fantastic. Then how would you like to feel about the whole thing? 
And yes, it might take some time and perseverance to get this done. And you will have to train your mind and your body to learn new habits, new behaviors, new ways of being. But what are the choice do we have? We can stay with things as they are or we can take the time it takes to do it. Perhaps this will help you realize more about your nature and about who you are. And perhaps you'll realize that you're not doing this only for yourself, but for the rest of us as well. Do you want to be an instrument that transmits and amplifies fear, despair, anger, frustration, a sense of victimization, powerlessness? Or perhaps you might want to start discovering other dimensions that are there, dormant, potential, within you as a human being. Now let's work a little with this. And although situations might be different for each of you, uh, we can still do a general tapping session which will enable you to have more of a conscious choice. Now before starting, it is very important to take the time to think about the situation that you feel trapped in. And um, I want you to take a pen and some paper to write down the answers. That will give you more clarity. So, what is precisely this situation that you feel trapped in? Is it a relationship? Is it a job? Is it uh, an emotion? You feel trapped with a, a disease or health issues? What is it that you're trapped with? Please write it down. And how do you feel about it? So what's the situation? And how do you feel about it? Feel free to pause the video at any point in time. Take the time to sit with this frustration and this sense of being trapped in a cycle. So what precisely seems cyclical to you? Very important question. What is that thing which seems to be repeating over and over again? Take the time to reflect on that and write it down. What seems to be the same over and over again? That particular aspect which gives you the feeling that this is cyclical. What is that that you're always doing? You, how are you responding to this cyclical thing? What type of belief have you identified within this, within this cycle? Because right there you might have a set of beliefs. Not deserving, not worthy, never get what I want, I've never been loved. You know, this type of beautiful type of thoughts and beliefs. And mostly, what sensations do you feel in your body now as you are bringing this uh, forward? And where precisely are they in your body? Now you're going to keep your attention in these particular areas of your body, being totally aware of what's going on and uh, mostly of the emotion that you're feeling. And uh, let's start the tapping with the karate chop. Even though I feel trapped in this cycle and I feel really frustrated about it, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel trapped in this particular situation, which seems to be the same over and over again. And I am fed up with that. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have a hard time coming out of this cycle, stopping it, breaking through it. I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Oh, well, let's move into the points. I feel trapped in this particular scenario, trapped in this pattern, in this cycle. It feels like I always end up in the same situation no matter what I do. It's always like this for me. It has always been like this for me. Take a deep breath, please. That's, that's exactly what it is, a cycle. No matter what I do, I always end up in the same place. Please take a deep breath through that. I feel like a prisoner. I feel trapped. 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do to come out of this. It's impossible to come out of this cycle. I feel angry. I feel frustrated. I'm tired of this. Please take a deep breath and be totally aware of what's going on in the body now. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Just breathe through it and be aware. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Yes, allow yourself to feel that fully and be totally aware of this imprisonment. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Total awareness of this frustration of being trapped in this situation. Take a deep breath. Total awareness of this deep frustration of being trapped in this cycle. Very good. Now, if you have any other thought that comes to your mind related to this, pause the video and continue the tapping. Else, take a deep breath. And now we continue asking some questions, mostly to your unconscious mind. How else can I see this cycle? How else can I look at this situation, at this pattern? I choose to see it for what it is. Take a deep breath. I choose to have clarity. Please take another deep breath now. I choose to take some distance from this situation so that I can see what other choices or options I have because there must be some others. I'm pretty sure of that. I choose to feel centered and connected with life. Deep breath. No matter what happens now in my mind and body, I stay connected. And now let's ask, if I could choose anything now, what would I choose to feel? If I could choose anything right now, in regards to this, what would I choose to feel? If I could choose anything right now, what would I choose to feel? If I could choose anything right now, what would I choose to feel? If I could respond differently now in this situation, what would I do? If I could respond differently in this particular situation, what would I do? That will enable me to come out of the cycle. If I could respond differently now in this situation, to come out of this cycle, what would I do? Take a deep breath. And allow these questions to go deeper and deeper to your unconscious mind. Allowing a brilliant mind to work on this in the background. What is the quality, the virtue or the value that this situation is pushing me to enhance or awaken? What is the quality, the virtue or the value that this situation is pushing me now to enhance or awaken. Take a deep breath, please. Let that question sink in. What is the quality, the virtue, or the value that this situation is now pushing me to enhance or awaken? Take a deep breath. What is the quality, the virtue, or the value that this situation is now pushing me to enhance or awaken. Take another deep breath, please. What other possibilities are available to me now? What other possibilities are available to me now? What else is possible that I haven't yet considered? What else is possible 
for me now that I haven't yet considered. Deep breath, please. Something there that you haven't yet considered. And I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Very good. Now please stay there and let's go into the now state. If you don't know what that is, just follow these very simple instructions right now. Simply keep your eyes fixed on a very specific point, keeping your eyes, your, your head straight and uh, choosing a spot which is slightly higher than the line of the eyes and then spread your vision into a peripheral vision. That means your eyes stay fixed on that particular point. However, your attention goes um, in the lateral view, peripheral view. And then start to be aware of your breathing. Your eyes are fixed. Your shoulders are dropped. You pay attention to the objects that are around you. Totally aware of your breathing. That's right. And then ask this question. And I'll ask it for you now. What else is possible in this particular situation that I haven't yet considered? What else is possible in this particular scenario that I haven't yet considered? What else is possible here in this particular situation that will allow me to come out of the cycle with total ease? Now close your eyes for a moment. Take the time that you need. You can pause the video. We can just go on with your daily activities and allow these questions to work for you from the background. Now please remember that the only progress that really matters in one's life, the only progress that is really important is from unconscious to conscious, from having no choice to having choice, from depending on external situations and on others to feeling good, to mastering your own state of body and mind. Because in the end, what you have to remember is that life requires cycles. Everything in nature is cyclical. The day and the night, the seasons, the year, birth and death. We are born because of the cyclical nature of life and we will cease to be because of it as well. Certain cycles cannot and should not be changed. Everybody is somehow trapped in some sort of pattern. Some of these may not change, but some will allow you to develop and to enhance capacities and abilities that you had no idea that existed. So if you want to go even further into discovering what is important to you, and if you want to find uh, a real breakthrough, if you want to start to master your own mind and your own body, don't hesitate to contact me for an appointment. In my next video, I will talk about what to do when we don't know what to do. So stay tuned. Thanks again so much for choosing to watch my videos, for following, for subscribing, and uh, supporting my work here. And I'll see you soon.